Hey friends, it's Miss JJ, and we're here tonight to talk more about Jesus. And what an awesome and incredible thing that is when we can all gather together and open God, God's Word. So I want everybody to take a deep breath and lean in, empty our, clear our minds from all distractions, and let's hear what God wants to tell us tonight. So have you ever been tempted before? Like maybe you were tempted to sneak a cookie before dinner? Or maybe you were tempted to cheat on a quiz at school? Or maybe you were tempted to keep picking on your kid's sister even though your mom told you not to? Here's the deal. We all get tempted to do things we know we shouldn't. And did you know that even Jesus himself was tempted? So tonight, we're going to open our Bibles and learn about a time where the devil tempted Jesus. And we're going to learn how he dealt with it. So it starts immediately after Jesus was baptized. It says he was led into the wilderness to be tempted by the tempter. And that's the devil or Satan. And so we're going to open our Bibles to Mark 1, 12 through 13. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and angels attended him. So Jesus fasted for those forty days, which means he didn't eat anything at all. And he did this so he could completely focus all of his energy on being with God and praying and preparing for his ministry. And that's when it said the devil came up to him and tempted it. Hey, don't worry. You looked a little worried. Oh, don't worry. Jesus is way stronger than the devil. <sighs> so Jesus is going to overcome all of the, the devil's temptations. And he's going to teach us how we too can overcome temptations when they come. So again, Lean in and listen up. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Do you know why Jesus was talking about bread? It's because he was hungry. He hadn't eaten in 40 days. And the devil thought that temptation might just work. And if it was you or me, it probably would. When I'm hungry, I want some food. But it didn't work. Jesus said that knowing and obeying God's word is way more important. And then the devil tempted Jesus to jump off a building. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Did you notice that the devil used the Bible to try to tempt Jesus to sin? He was trying to make Jesus think that God didn't love him. The devil was trying to get Jesus to prove that God loved him by doing something really dumb like jumping off a building. But Jesus knew that God loved him. He didn't need to test it. He just needed to trust it. Do you trust that God loves you no matter what anybody else says? Well, it's true. He does. And here's the last thing the devil did. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Can you believe that? The devil told Jesus he would give him the whole world and he thought Jesus was going to fall for that? That's like you going home and telling your parents you will give them 
all the stuff in your house if they will let you stay up late and watch a movie. Hey, it's all their stuff anyway. You're just a kid. Jesus is God, and God is the creator of the whole universe. And what we desire, we're designed to desire God over everything. And everything we have, everything we've ever will have, is his because of his great love and mercy towards us. And the devil never wants us to truly trust and believe in that truth. But Jesus said it, and it is true, and he told the devil to get gone. Then the devil left him, and the angels came and attended him. Jesus was strong every single time the devil tempted him. Tempted him. Do you know where his strength came from? God's word. And that's how we can over overcome temptations and the devil when they come, because they will. We need to look to God's word for strength each and every time. So that's why it's so important that we gather each week together and open our Bibles and hide God's word in our hearts and pray and spend time with him each and every day. So we too will be strong when that devil comes around and we will be able to say, devil, get gone. So let's spend some more time in our small groups talking about what we've learned tonight and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.